Hi. I'm You're beautiful. Yeah. I do all this. Can I have a job? We, we work for you too. We need, we need your style. Oh, we have to record it right now. Hi. She's beautiful, style. right? Where are you Hi. from, baby? Oh, I'm from Kenya. Oh my God, that's what I'm talking about. Kenya, this is a new age Kenyan woman. This is a new, I'm sorry. This is a new age Kenyan woman, Go See Africa. This is Go See Africa. <laughs> One of the biggest YouTubers. You see the kind of life Africans are living? Undertaker. Bro, you get inspired by Undertaker? My mind is full of wishes. I wish we are living the times of Zinjatropos. The times Zinjatropos never had to wake up thinking about money. Never woke up thinking about girlfriend. Never woke up thinking about making wealth. And all they had to do is um, have somewhere to rest probably a gold cave but times are changing we are evolving though I don't think we are we, we, we are evolving anymore I haven't seen anyone grow wings if wishes were horses shall be we want to get to hear your wishes my wish was to be a trust fund baby what? <laughs> a, what? a trust fund baby you don't know what a trust fund baby is? I don't know. Born into wealth. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you were just born in a big house. Okay, people? White you, picket you, fence. You don't need to work. Don't need to work. Okay? <laughs> you like a dog named Buddy was already there. You know? The big room. <sighs> and, and, you know, and, you know, you see different lives every day. You come from the, the, the places I come from. Um, my eyes are a dream. My life is a dream. It's a dream. And then when I see people, but you know, when you're a world traveler, you can only see it for a certain amount of time, you know? So imagine the people who live this life, who see these tropical places um, every day, anytime they want to. And it's not all about money, people. It's just about opportunity. That's my word for people. But at trust fund, baby. At times I wish I had wings. I'm gonna tell you a great dream I had <laughs> when I was growing up. We were so broke. I had a dream. It was so. It was like a million dollars around my bed. I, I'm telling you, that's how you know dreams are like reality. Dreams is, is you actually in the spiritual world. And I tell you, it was very real. I had re many dreams that felt very real, but this was so real. I could feel the people. I could feel the dollar. I could feel the wealth. I could feel me eating great food that day. <laughs> it says I know it was like 4 p.m. on my dreams. So Those like, are the Yo. days you wake up hungry. <laughs> what? <laughs> broke on broke. It was like crazy waking up. I cried. Literally. I woke up with tears in my eyes how real it was. Because you know when you go to sleep broke, you go to sleep hungry, you know, it's crazy. And you find a way to go to sleep. <laughs> but that dream was so real. I mean, I cried when I woke up. I'm serious. And it's not all about money. When you tell people, um, it's about opportunity, people. And it's, just, it's about uh, having own dreams. But it starts with dreams also. Anything that you see what we're doing, we wrote it on paper, or we said it, we threw it out in the earth, or we had a dream. So when he said wishes and dreams, you should always start with that first, even if you're not do, uh, doing it. Always have a dream and wish. We, we all grew up and wished that we had wings, we, we could fly, and sometimes we end up flying. Some of us end up flying. So right. first you gotta have a dream and a wish, you know? It's a thought, thoughts. That is a person who wishes that they were born in the U.S. There is a person who, who wishes that they were f born in a different family. Yeah. There is a person who wishes that, like me. At <laughs> times I wish that I studied gynecology. <sighs> Those guys are living their life, why. bro. I wonder why. I wonder why. But it is health. You're still dealing in the health. We <laughs> actually need more people in the health field. So I wish myself I could spend more time, uh, if I went to back to college, I know exactly um, that degrees, you have to go get the exact degree may, uh, that's going to really help the earth, mm -hmm. you know. So things like that, of course, we all wish, we past time, but we all have wishes that we should, but um, it starts with a wish, though, wishing a dream. It's never too old for a wish, though, Go See Africa. It's never too old. You can still probably do it. Yeah. Especially if you're uh, going to colleges. If wishes were horses. Yes. Wow. Someone in Europe, someone in America, would be living 
in this beautiful environment. And, and, and sometimes we wish, we need to stop wishing that we all live the same life. All our lives are different. So we, that's what we need experiences. So don't ever wish that you want somebody else's life. You know, when I say trust from there, I'll just play. We all, we, we, yeah, we come from hard life African people. So I, all us Africans wish we had some bread in our pocket. What are you talking about? <laughs> for all the Africans. So we can wish that. Don't look at me like it's, I'm vain. Yeah. But we, we don't wish each other's lives. Your life is unique, okay? No matter, because my I've been to 10 times worse circumstances and things me and my family had to deal with uh, coming up, no matter if in Liberia or America people. And um, a lot of people couldn't get through what my people went through, even my mother, my father. But guess what? We never wish nobody else life, even if you think that person is living a, a better life than you, okay? Mm -hmm. Your life is unique, man. It's a story. That's why all these movies were made. Some of the best so, movies that were made of people's lives that you thought was crazy. Someone wishes yeah. they were go see Africa. <laughs> someone wishes they were famous. Now, you even I, 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 would, I would like to be famous to change the society, to, change, to be able to, yes. um, to influence the society, the decision making in the society. I want people to treat Africa differently when someone thinks, talks about Africa, mm -hmm. yeah, you perceive those people differently. You don't perceive them as just uh, people coming from a lesser privileged um, mm -hmm. continent. Yeah, just yeah? So, yeah. if wishes were horses. Uh, but you gotta understand, this is the oldest place on the earth of human civilization. When we say Kenya, not, uh, we, our business is in Africa, but we brought it to Kenya because the oldest person that was ever found was at the Great Rift Valley. Kerio Valley. Great Rift. People don't know that, right? You don't know that. You don't know that. So that's why many cultures are here. No matter if they tell you, oh, Dubai is, is, is nice. Dubai is nice. Yeah, Tyler is nice. Yeah, Tyler is nice. But. All those cultures every day, especially at Juma Kenyatta Airport. Shout out to you, because you always get me back here. Many cultures is on this flight. I'm like the only black person on this flight, people. <laughs> it's, it's, like t it's like one Liberian and like t 10 Kenyans, and the rest, other races, people. Uh, yeah. Other races of people. Other races. Because yeah. I told you, the most people in, who travel to Africa, who, other than the ones who live in Africa, is other cultures, not even black Americans. I'm one of the few guys from America, you know, at least some African come back from America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but, you know, you're not gonna meet many individual Americans walking around here like that. Unless you, had, we actually just walked past a few who was here. You see some Nigerian guys here. I told you, this is, this side of town is very unique in Nairobi, because you'll meet not only Nairobians here, many Nairobians here, but you'll meet Nigerians, Canadians, Americans, Liberians. So, yeah, but people don't know, uh, in Africa, the most people who travel to Africa outside of people who live in Africa is Europeans, Indians, you know, uh, uh, Arabians, you know, they're the ones who come to Africa and enjoy it better than us people. They enjoy, enjoy it. You think I enjoy it? Sure as enough. much as I enjoy Kenya, I haven't enjoyed Liberia like I enjoy Kenya. That's how it really is. Because I, I, I come from Eastland side of town mm -hmm. in Liberia. I don't come from Kilimani side of town, Liberia. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Even in America, I come from Eastland side of town in America. I don't come from Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kenya gave me the opportunity. It, you know, of course, I traveled to South Africa, these places, but as Kenya chooses my home away from home in Africa, um, yeah, I live better than here than I have anywhere around the world. You know what I'm saying? I've been a place around the world. Of course, I had great experiences, but being in Africa, this is the best experience, pretty much. You know, that's, you, people I understand. And so, not only us Africans is enjoying it, I don't got as much money as Indians and Europeans. They enjoy it 10 times more. They're the ones living in Karen, going to all these safaris and reserves every day. <laughs> they don't work. They come in. <laughs> we, know, we know a group who on YouTube. We don't go and get their name. When they come in for three, four months, what do they do, YouTube? Or what do they do, go see Africa? They yeah. pump it up. Yeah, pump it up. <laughs> they be go, yeah, have a great time. They got big views. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're from Canada. We, we salute them. Yo, as I said, people from other cultures come here and enjoy Africa way better than us. Okay? 10 times more. Wow. Yeah. They don't know that. They just think, you know, they think people from other places are not coming here. You crazy. They just want to make their money in the cold areas. And in warm areas, they come stand they out. They come stand, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then we think people are, uh, we think they're doing YouTube full time. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> when they go silent, we know what's going on. <laughs> we know what's <laughs> going on. You get that Mazunga money. <laughs> <laughs> they come back here. Be like, like, oh, oh, I love Africa. Da, da. The, the, we know that money. Hey, the Zika, I've been, I've been filming Miami money. Beach. <laughs> and uh, they only give me one video in a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Why? why you think I only get two videos a week in New York City? I got things to do with you. Dog, I got dog side, I got hustles to get, you know what I'm saying? But I will give you the content. Yeah. But it shows you though, in, in, in the place around the world, 
um, it's not it's not a bad thing. People have came to Africa and took the resources to other places. So I encourage my Africans, if we get a chance, we're going to go to these other places, get that resource back, and bring it back right here. So guess what? That's, if my man over here got to send his cousin or whatever, he got to go, yo, I got to go to Frankfurt to go get this opportunity so I can go back and build this village back home. It's cool. There's many people doing this. You can show them this big building over here. Many Kenyans abroad invest Beautiful. in these places. We got to shout out to the Kenyans abroad who are invested in these big buildings right here. Amazing. So you're going to tell me the guys who went abroad and got bread and now they're helping Kenya build these big buildings, they shouldn't go abroad? Some of us have to go abroad. Some of us are going to have to stay here. We really some, want them to go there. Some of us are going to have to go abroad. Make, make that some money, to, yeah. then come back. Because it's all a circle. While ones are abroad, mm -hmm. they, they still have they still speak, speak the language and they're spreading mm -hmm. promotion to your country. Yeah. Because guess what? Me being a Liberian, people love want to go to Liberia now. Mm -hmm. people, you know what I'm saying? Being in other places. If I just stick in Liberia, 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 nobody know Liberia. You know what I'm saying? Wow. For me, going around the earth, not only um, talking about the earth, but everywhere I go, I always say I'm Liberian, I'm, I'm African. So I'm spreading my, uh, I don't know, I'm spreading, um, and Black Geo. Beautiful someone. I'm, I know, we're gonna keep it. All free flowing content, Black Geo. Yeah. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Beautiful someone. But guess what? You know, we all gotta uh, let different organizations, we have to have organizations in our races. So some gonna have to teach, some have to make babies, some gonna have to travel. You know, somebody have to learn, somebody have to build. It's group. It's like Hunger Games or whatever that movie was, where they're societies, when they lined everybody up. Not like that, like they did it like a real like slavery type. But it's like we all come together. What skill do you have? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a teacher. Cool. You put you in the teacher realm. Okay, what do you have? You a world child? Okay, you know about the world. You knowledgeable? Okay, put you in the knowledgeable side. You 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 know about history? Okay, put you in the history side. Agriculture. Cool. We have certain people who going to do. We have to put people on missions. People. You know what I'm saying? Some of my people, I'm gonna send on missions. You know. Because my knowledge is cool. Once the Black Geo gets big, yes, we're going to send people, the people we work with, on missions. You know? That's how you're supposed to do. And let that person relay the, the knowledge back to us. So uh, that's what we're going to teach people on this experience in wow. Africa, people. That was a beautiful discussion. I mean, people might steal my vibes, you know. Cool, <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> and I wish people stopped stealing people's vibes. That's what we wish. That's another thing we wish. We're going to wish people stop stealing. Keep your, create your own vibe, create your own style, uniqueness. You know, that's what I really wish. We you are know, bringing our own. our wishes to reality, and that's why we founded the Black Geo and Go See Africa. Yeah. I saw someone start another Black Geo. Oh, see, tell me the story. <laughs> Please tell us. Yo, go ahead, tell the subscribers about that. Go ahead, bro. Tell the subscribers about what happened. So he so he texts me. Uh, he texts me something in the so, morning. It's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I was going through the internet, you know. Yeah. yeah. The, I love I love being at the internet. You know, I'm a in, an internet person. Yeah. yeah. I'm a social media person, so to my surprise, I got notified about the Black Geo. There is a, ch a channel pop popped up, Black Geo. So I was like, which Black Geo is this one? Did, did we change profile or something? <laughs> then I had to click it. The guy has seven, seven subscribers. But to my idea, that's someone we inspire. But when, <laughs> when we inspire you, when we inspire you, don't copy. Shout out to the man we inspire, yeah. bro. Don't copy. <laughs> you steal our stuff. But then I've seen some um, some big people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people who presume to be very big, and uh, they are famous worldwide. They they go to the extent of using our slogans. Yep. Yeah. Tell them what they tell them what they use. Yeah. I, I heard. Yeah. Happen uh, to the world. World of Africa. Yeah, yeah. It was, um, heard, uh, we showcase live from this, live from that. Yeah. Who said that? Who who be saying live from this? Yeah. Shabby, man. Shabby, yeah. So well, uh, you never like know if someone, if someone comes up, comes up now to say uh, oh. we showcase Africa to the world mm -hmm. and uh, show the Africa to the world, to show Africa. the world to Africa. Definitely, Only here don't go see that, Africa. That, that's our field. slogan. Yeah. Now someone, someone be, someone celebrated. Mm -hmm. They still copying our slogan. Mm -hmm. Reach us out. Yeah. Tell us that we would like to use your slogan. Now tell you them know? your slogan. Tell yeah. them your famous slogan. Yeah, even me to me. Uh -huh. It's content. It's content. Now, if you hear that around, you know uh, we're going to brand it. Mm -hmm. He actually going to write it in the history books exactly. so you guys can walk around and say that on a regular. Yeah. So, we, it, it, it is so funny. You know, when I started to say, even uh, you never know, you might end up back. That's very organic because that's, that's my life. Yeah. A lot of things. I told you, the life we live, we both live. It's like a TV show. So, we came up with slogans, and that's very natural because mm -hmm. the, the life we live, we never know we might end up back. 
Yeah. Seriously, go see. Do you ever know yeah. where you might end? You just end up in random places. You never know <laughs> when it might end up. Bro. That's what I said. So that's why <laughs> when you hear these slogans, you think it's just, I just wrote it down. No, it's just natural because mm -hmm. my life, my whole life, I just ran, ended up in random places. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you, so you never, never know, know when it might end up. So that's a great slogan for us. So you start hearing people start saying our slogans. It, it, it's not organic because a lot yeah. of stuff Be we original. say in the videos is very original. If we inspire you, yeah. um, for, like myself, I used to watch African Tigress. I used to watch Go Black Africa, you know? Go Black Africa. And uh, I never copied their exact title, their exact names, yeah, yeah. their slogans. Exactly. We, yeah. we get inspiration from people. We're not going to steal your title. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Inspiration is different. Yeah. Let yeah. me inspire you. But yeah, that's if you get, come, we come get inspired. Like African Tigers. He talk about the inspiration all the time. That's why he mm -hmm. shout out African Tigers myself. Yeah. I'm a great supporter of African Tigers. I give you great watch hours. That's why I put you in my hashtags. Okay. I'm not greedy like these other people. Exactly. <laughs> Even yeah. Demon want all these people. I show support all these people. Mm -hmm. Not beefing. We have, when we put you on the hashtag because we watch the content. Mm -hmm. We know what you, we don't steal. We inspire. We, we get we inspired. We get inspired. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, don't think we will stop doing this. We will still watch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we will still keep on watching. Yeah, we're not haters. Yeah. One thing you got to realize about Go See Black Geos, we, we, we know this is a big world space. New, mm -hmm. YouTube is a world space. So there's no need to hate yeah. on nobody because everybody grow, got people. By tomorrow, like I might, might find myself bigger than African Tigris. Okay. But I see the fact that you inspire me, yeah. I will still watch you. Can, you. can you speak about you being a YouTuber, right? You've mm -hmm. been in YouTube space growing how people get manipulated once that K hits their side, it's like K something, once the, the subscriber let, count hits a K, they start acting a little nah. different. Once that superstar feeling start coming in. <laughs> eh? Yeah, tell me about it, bro. Go ahead, bro. We forget ourselves. Yeah, yeah. Personally, and, uh, yeah. That's the worst thing that thing can ever, doing. ever happen to you. Yeah. We always remain humble, man, throughout the yeah. numbers, man. This always is, remain this, humble. This is I've worked for us, bro. with different personalities, people with uh, bigger subs than mine, people with lesser subs, but someone just gets that K, mm -hmm. yeah? Exactly. 1K, 2K. They think they are very important. Yeah. They break uh, the good relationship we had before. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, that's and, so and, unfortunate and by then. And, and this is why, you know why we don't, we, we take this as a regular thing because I, I, what we're doing is showing life in people. Because we we already experienced many things in our life. Um, not bragging things, it's just from our mothers, our fathers, our travels. Mm -hmm. So when we brought it here, we was like telling a story. It wasn't like we wanted YouTube to help us get experiences. Yeah. We already had experiences, so we want yeah, to tell people and help other people get experience. That's why you watch our content. It's always like inspiring. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not like we waiting for YouTube no, 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 to do something no, for no. us. And so we're telling YouTube. Our life is already yeah, we're monetized. You yeah, we give you a real script story. Yeah, it got mm -hmm. nothing to do with mm -hmm. waiting for YouTube to give us the experience to give you the experience. Yeah. No, we giving YouTube the experience. The experience, yeah. <laughs> you know? And that's why we are YouTube <laughs> partners because we yeah, bring exactly. something new. Yeah, it's we like something it's about, We don't want. To, we, we don't want to beg you people like, oh please subscribe and then, until I can get money and then I can go somewhere. No, no, it's like nothing to do. Like we we know what the business of YouTube is. This is a, this like a channel on TV, you feel me? So you put your own equity, we're showing our subscribers, we respect you guys out here. We actually putting our own money, our own equity, you feel me? We're not just, we want you guys to be the, uh, donate all the time. Cool, if you want to donate, cool, donate. We appreciate you guys. Yeah. We, but we're we going to tell you and show you right here, we're going to make sure when we make content for people, especially through our networking business, mm -hmm. we're going to put our own equity. We're going to get our booze dirty, okay? And exactly. you never hear us in the video, I'm going to say it too. Begging y'all, yo, yo, my last video only had 80 views. We, we, we move right on to the that. next one. <laughs> now I have a, I have a video with a million yeah. views. Tell them. That video took six months to start moving. Yeah. For the longest time, it had 43 uh, views, mm -hmm. of which I, doubt, I, I, I guess 10 views were from myself. Yeah. I watched them myself, maybe the other 10 <laughs> were from the Black Geo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I gave him watch out. No, it's, it, it, it has over a million views, bro. Yeah, this man so, has a video. He has over millions of uh, viewership. See, people look at subscriber count. It's really about your yeah. viewership. This oh. man has over millions, over a million and a half of people who watch his channel. Yeah, so, you know, so people got to say it's not your viewership, is, it's not about always subscriber count. Uh, one year old. Yeah. One, one year, one month. And it's about the quality that you're showing. The quality of your work. Right? Because yeah. I know some, I watch YouTubers out here who got seven, eight thousand subscribers and they show great content. And I know some other, other people who got a hundred thousand and they put a little effort. That's all, I don't watch people just because they got a hundred. I, I watch the quality. Because I know some people who got 
200 uh, views on a video and the video is cut up epic looks good yeah it's about quality people y'all gotta start looking at quality and stop looking at the video oh the video got 28k that's what i'm gonna watch it no watch it for the topic why it looks and you know watch it for that of course watch any video that you like mm -hmm. but um when it comes to what you're doing on youtube it ain't about nothing about uh, how much people watch it's just what you're putting out there you know yeah so i respect everybody everybody um this thing is hard it's like we're creating a tv show for people not only black gym go see but everybody you see on on YouTube, created something for people to watch. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Other mm -hmm. than TV, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's why we take YouTube seriously because we like YouTube is. And we're gonna shout out to YouTube too because YouTube has made the regular person a star. Mm -hmm. So it if, used to be the if, TV. Now it's the YouTube. Now it's YouTube. Star. Yeah. Yeah. If we should do our horses, don't be me. <laughs> be like me. <laughs> don't be, be, be like me. Yeah, don't yeah. be me. That's be like me. And, and we we'll tell people too, like about the YouTube. They thinking you just cut on the camera, and YouTube start paying you. No, have an idea, have a story. Treat the YouTube your YouTube page just like a uh, studio, like a universe studio, or whatever. Be creative, people. Be creative. Be creative. You can do anything. I like people being creative on this. Create a TV show. Yeah. Create something. Learn, you know to, learn we, to to relate well with your followers. We your all can watch each other and get to watch ours the same. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, you, if we all creative, I watch I watch YouTube more than I watch regular TV. Okay? <laughs> True. Trust me, I enjoy YouTube more than I watch regular TV. Mm -hmm. When I watch TV, I watch the series like on a on an app, so I don't have to get too many commercials. But other than that, straight sports and, and, and news. I get even my news. We watch it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So people who <laughs> want to start on YouTube, yeah. and uh, even us, we start on the ground level. Just go out there, create some scenes for yourself. Choose certain locations in your city that's great or stories to tell. Every city has museums, uh, ancient stories, people who got to talk. Mm -hmm. You see people on the street, line 10 people up, tell them like, yo, I got to, let's talk. Let's start right in your city. Mm -hmm. Ideas, people. Mm -hmm. The people. That's how you start your town. Talking to the people. Yeah. Or showing the people. Mm -hmm. Or showing yourself flexing mm -hmm. um, in the city. But start where you are, your footsteps. This man right here even said it. Um, a lot of guys who I, I work with, and I was telling him, He's like, bro, make it more journalistic. You ain't got to travel all the time. Mm -hmm. how, how to make yourself great? You can be great right here, mm -hmm. standing right here and just talking. Yeah. But you got. But if you have a great topic, I remember the, for the, your the, That's the, all you got to do. The time I was getting famous in the Caribbean, I could face the camera. Yeah. Then uh, I considered on addressing my subscribers. So don't anything that's a wish to you um work towards achieving it so i used to play the camera in front of me then i'll be like oh uh, let me talk to you the people of uh caribbean um all at times i'd be like i'm addressing the people of trinidad and tobago that's my very favorite country yeah uh, so yeah be like you guys uh, i love you so much and i want you to be um part of my community and uh i promise that i want I will never hurt your feelings. Then, then, then t like five videos, a uh, five minute video, uh, I'm purely addressing the people of Trinidad. I got and another wish that, for you though. Those guys really, really promoted my channel. They could share my link. They could uh, subscribe to my channel. Yeah. And that's why the largest number of my subscribers, well, they are from can Trinidad. I, can I say Trinidad. another wish? Because uh, yeah. I know Go See Africa is uh, his weakness can mm -hmm. can somebody from Trini please send him a Trini woman to fly to Nairobi to come see him? <laughs> That's another wish. You know, and you know, it's like an African woman. She's an African woman still though. So somebody out there, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Send a Trini woman who got who, who's I'm not a, busy. I'm a Trini to the bone. <laughs> uh, yeah, or, or if a Trini yeah. woman is watching, yeah. anytime you get a chance to come to Nairobi, we ain't playing. We just playing around. If come you want to come, just come interact come and, and hang out. Come hang out with Ghosty Africa. Mm -hmm. Hang out with the Black Geo. Mm -hmm. We actually take people around. We want to tell people again. We take people on tours, different parts of the city in, in the country mm -hmm. it's the vibe without even doing digital work but if yeah. you want to come work with us on the digital side yeah. and he train people y'all better become a, this guy reps training mm -hmm. to the bone yeah. so if he's not going to training y'all come to training mm -hmm. y'all better come up and get up with the black G and go see yeah. africa this guy right here he need, he, he deserves a check Comes but if you can't give him a check give him give him some kick ass mm -hmm. from our uh, training okay? yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? we want to you know, visit the training that for the kind of uh, yeah. if if uh, we get those visas and if yeah. uh, time allows yeah yeah we, we'll be we'll be in your neighborhood that's fair yeah we can't wait to be uh that's in right. some of the best beaches in trinidad yeah and Tobago. That's a fact. yeah yeah man wow amazing so my name is gossy africa i'm mm -hmm. a traveler and a youtuber 
from Kenya, Africa, Africa. Yeah. and with me, Shabi from the Black Geo. He's always at this epic location, Laverton, Nairobi. We always gonna say, if you wanna come see us, you gotta come to Gung Road side of town. That's where only the Black Geos is, is at. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Amazing. Sorry, people. Amazing. Allow me to end the video at this point. And definitely we're going to meet on the next episode. Have a good bye.